Hello, this is Trent Norris with Truth and Triumph Fitness, and I'm going to quickly review how to take data from your Garmin 910 XT into Garmin Connect and then into Training Peaks via the Training Peaks device agent. So, what I've done just now is I've plugged in the Garmin dongle, the, the uh, USB dongle, and I'm turning on my watch. You can see that the Garmin Connect uh, status icon is up here in the right hand corner. When it's transferring data from my recent workout, you'll see the, um, the Wi Fi arrows start or, or bands start across the top here. That should happen momentarily. It's starting now. The data is transferring from my watch into Garmin, into the Garmin database that sits locally on my laptop. It's then going to transfer that data from the database on my computer up to Garmin Connect in their cloud. And then I'm going to replicate the data set from my local hard drive database onto the Training Peaks website via the Training Peaks device agent. So there's two device agents, one from Garmin and one from Training Peaks. It looks like that data transfer is going well and it's about to wrap up. And it's finished. Now that the database has been populated with my recent cycling workout, I'm going to actually turn off my watch and I'm going to close the Garmin Ant agent. I'm going to go ahead and unplug my Garmin dongle and I'm going to start the Training Peaks device agent. You can see that the Training Peaks device agent is starting up down here on my menu and this is again this is on the recent Mac OS. Once this starts up, it's going to ask me if I want, it'll, it'll see that I have a device, the 910, which I configured. And if you haven't done that, that, that will be a separate video. And there's actually, there are, there are some YouTube videos already available for uh, locating your 910 XT or other Garmin device. So it says there's a new version of Training Peaks Device Agent 3.0 that's available. We're going to skip for now. We'll do this later. And we have we've logged in before, so I have my username, my device, and I'm going to say open files. It's going to open files from my local computer. Those are the ones that I just downloaded from my watch to the Garmin device agent. See it's initializing the Garmin 409 XT but it's actually taking device data from the database. Okay, these are the activities. You can see here, um, yesterday I did some swimming and today I did some cycling and I did a little bit of a brick, uh, uh, a brick. That's the run here. So if you look at the data formats, I'm not sure I completely understand these, but I know that 2013 is the year, and this is December and the 14th. So I presume this is the date in which the workout was done. I'm less uh, familiar with what the next series of numbers, um, with their significance. So. Uh, okay, so I'm going to take the dates yesterday and today by holding down the shift key and clicking the first one and the top one. The shift key will allow you to select multiple data sets at once. I'm going to push open. It's going to populate those into my Dra Training Peaks device agent. I want to make sure I'm saving it to Training Peaks on the cloud. You can double click to see that. It's going to the web. You want it to go to the Training Peaks web. Mine's defaulted to go there. I'm just showing you in case yours isn't. 
you don't want them to be on your local disk. You want them to be in their Training Peaks cloud. And I'm going to push save, and it's going to push those data files up to the training to your Training Peaks uh, account. This is just telling you that by bulk uploading workouts, they will be replicated if you've already put these workouts on Training Peaks. So you're just going to duplicate them if you've already uploaded them. It's finished. Now, if I want to go look at those, I just push login down here in the left. It's going to log me into my Training Peaks account. I like the new beta version of Training Peaks. It's a little oversimplified, but I think it's um, that's why it's in beta. I'm not sure if they use SQL for their database, but it's a little bit slow. All right, so I guess we have to log in, which I thought it did automatically. And you can see here, these are the workouts that I, I just uploaded. So you have the swim workouts from yesterday and the biking, the, the, the trainer ride and brick I did just now. And that's it. If you want to go in here and add notes, you double click on these and you can see completed versus planned, etc. Thanks for watching this again. This is Trent Norris with Truth and Triumph Fitness. Good luck and good training.